Mauritius is one of the world's largest exporters of primates for the global research industry. Every year it exports thousands of long-tailed macaques to suffer and die in the laboratories of Europe, the USA and Canada. It is a brutal and cruel trade in monkeys' lives. Tens of thousands of monkeys are confined in breeding farms across the country. They live their lives behind bars on concrete, denied their freedom and deprived of the lush foliage of their forest homes that surround them. I'm currently in the Brado National Park in Mauritius. 30, 40 years ago, this park was full of monkeys. Today, very few of them remain. Most of them were trapped. They were put in cages. They were put on Air France flights and shipped to labs in North America and in Europe for cruel experiments. Now, one of the breeding farms, Biosphere Trading, has applied to the Mauritius government to allow it to start capturing monkeys from the wild and to expand its breeding facility, enabling it to export even more monkeys overseas to laboratories. This is alarming. We are here today in front of the Embassy of Mauritius in Brussels to urge the government of Mauritius to refuse a recent application of one of its largest monkey farms in Mauritius to expand its current capacity of breeding monkeys by tenfold and to refuse the permission to capture monkeys in the wild again. Capturing and removing monkeys from their native habitat and family and social groups is cruel and inflicts substantial suffering and distress and can result in injuries and even death. Mauritius is a tropical island paradise and a popular tourist destination, but at the same time Mauritius is also the world's second largest exporter of long-tailed macaques used for animal testing. While a trip to the island of Mauritius might be a holiday of a lifetime for most human primates, for non-human primates on the other hand, it is a lifetime full of suffering. We have to consider the suffering we're putting these animals through. These monkeys, they're our closest cousins. They're just as sentient as we are. The American philosopher Charles Magel once famously said, ask the experimenters, why do you experiment on animals? And the answer is, because the animals are like us. Ask the experimenters, why it's morally okay to experiment on animals? And the answer is, because they are not like us. And we want everyone to realize, especially the people in power, that if you say animals are like us, then that's also true on a moral scale. So, on a moral scale. So, get rid of those moral double standards. With what the world is going through right now, it is high time we stop experimenting on primates. It is high time we stop this cruel breeding and the appalling captures in the wild. We must invest in alternative testing, and Mauritius must find other ways to develop its economy. This has to stop, and it has to stop now. This is bad for the Mauritian economy. Tourists will stop coming here once they learn what's going on. At a time when humanity is re-evaluating its relationship with nature and the wildlife with whom we share this planet, it is shocking that Mauritius is looking to expand its role in this barbaric trade. Please support this important campaign. Millions of live wild animals are traded legally around the world. And in fact, COVID-19 is the latest reason to abandon this cruel trait. COVID-19 has created an extraordinary demand for monkeys used in animal testing. In just the first six months of 2020, almost 5,000 monkeys were exported from Mauritius. This is an increase of more than 1,200 individuals compared to the same period in 2019. Corona is a symptom, but speciesism is the real disease. Animals are first exploited by humans, which allowed COVID-19 to emerge and grow into a pandemic. And now animals are once again suffering to solve the man-made problem. We must end the wildlife trade in monkeys now, and we must put an end to animal experiments using monkeys. Not just because those are inherently cruel to the wild animals, but also for our own safety, protecting animals and humans alike.